In this FM Studio Pro video, I'll demonstrate how to use the FileMaker Site Assistant with FM Studio. I'll also demonstrate the FM Studio Site Assistant importer. Now, I'll start with the FM Gateway Site Wizard, which is at the top of the screen. So, if you navigate up to FM Studio V2, you can select it from the menu. And what the FM Gateway Site Wizard enables you to do is basically set up an FM Studio site in Dreamweaver and it sets up all the settings that you need to get your files to your fmgateway.com hosting account. Now some of you do not have a FM Gateway hosting account and that's fine. We've got a lot of tutorials online that show you how to create the Dreamweaver site separately with your own server settings. So the next thing we need to do is go ahead and fill in our settings for FM Gateway. So I'm going to put in my username and my password and click Next. And then we need to give the site a name. So we'll go ahead and type a site name. And the next thing we need to do is choose a local path. So click Choose and quickly a local path is basically where you'll save your site. So this can be anywhere on your computer. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder. and give the folder a name and create this folder and that's where it's going to save all of my files. Go ahead cl click choose and then next you're going to be asked to validate your file and that's just validating that it's, a, that it's an actual path, that's a correct path for the FM Gateway settings. Go ahead hit next and the next thing it's going to do is ask you if you want to push your files to the FM Gateway server or to your server and yes you do. Now this will take a couple minutes and I've cut out the uploading part in this video because you would be sitting here for a couple of minutes as these files uploaded. So this has been shortened and okay it's it's finished and this is the screen that's brand new to FM Studio Pro and it allows two methods of working with FM Studio now. Um, the old method you can create a standard database connection and a quick definition of that is it's a, a standard database connection. Uh, you create a connection to your database and you work with FM Studio tools using all the standard options uh, that were built into, uh, into it previously and you use those to build a custom website. The brand new option is the FileMaker PHP Site Assistant which comes with FileMaker Server. The Site Assistant also includes uh, 10 different templates, I believe, and you also uh, are able to get started with your site and your database on the web much more quickly. Site Assistant is a third-party tool. It's not made by us. It's made by FileMaker Inc. So go ahead and click the Start FileMaker Site Assistant button. and you're going to see a little window is going to prompt up and the alert is letting you know that it's a third-party tool and it's going to be launched in your browser and it also lets you know for any support that you'll need to contact FileMaker Inc. Go ahead click OK and the site assistant is going to start. So you'll be prompted you know to allow it to run so click create a site and let it run now, let me adjust this window. Go ahead and give your site a name. And then go ahead and click connect. And when you click connect, it's going to ask for account name and password. This account name and password comes from your FileMaker database. It's a user that needs to have the FM PHP extended privileges enabled in the database and the database must be hosted on FileMaker Server 9 or 10. So let's go ahead and enter this information. Now one quick thing, if you're using FM Gateway please see our informative introductory email on how to get your database hosted on the FM Gateway server. Now next it's asking here if I want a uh, user login or if I want to save the database account name and password. I'm going to go ahead and choose that. And next choose a database. And the site assistant, it's going to take probably a minute or two. 
uh, to figure out all the information about your database. So that little wheel will spin just for a minute. And it's done. So next, all you need to do is choose a layout group. So you can choose that right to the right, to the right of the database group. And I'm going to choose good old English nature. And you can see there's a lot of choices here. You can learn more about those from FileMaker, but go ahead and hit OK there. And I'm going to go ahead and choose the full site with all the options. Then at the bottom, you can see that you've got a lot of available themes. I'm going to scroll through here and you can see that you've got an iPhone theme. I'm going to go through here. I'm going to go ahead and choose the lovely red theme. So once you've chosen a theme, you can customize the pages on the side here. You can see where you can customize those. But let's go ahead and just generate a site. And once again, you're going to be asked where to save the files. And since you're going to be importing it into FM Studio, this is just a temporary location for the site assistant. Make sure you do not use the same folder that you use for FM Studio. You can't use that. Choose a different folder. Create a new folder is even better. So I'm going to go ahead and click Browse, decide where I want to save my file, and create a new folder. All right. And now we're ready to generate the site. And once again, this will take a little bit of time to generate the site. It's a good time to go get a cup of coffee or, or something. Perfect. Go ahead, hit OK. And now that you're through generating the site, you don't need the site assistant anymore. So you can go ahead and quit out of the site assistant and go back to FM Studio. Next, we need to go ahead and import the site assistant site. So once again, go ahead and click on that button and we're going to need to choose the folder where you saved your site assistant files. Remember mine was the temp folder, so that's the folder I'm going to need to navigate to. So go ahead hit choose, navigate to your folder, select that folder, and you can see all the files there, and import your site. And once again, importing a site, <laughs> everything seems to take a few seconds, but this will take a, a few seconds as well to import the site. If you get any messages that pop up that, well, like this one, just go ahead and click Yes to All. And now that all the files are being uploaded to your server, so that's the next step. And since they're uploaded, now you can see that over here to the right, you've got all the files. And here I've got my, my FM Studio connection with all the stuff where I can connect to it. So if I edit the files, I can update and push them all there. So let's go ahead and open a couple of these pages here. This is a, a table view, and as you can see, I can jump in and edit the table view, I can make changes to the titles, I can make changes to any of the data there, image files. I've got all the information over here in my server behaviors. I can add fields, delete fields. So let's go ahead and take a look at this in our browser and see how it looks. And here you go. Here you can see the page loads perfectly. Here's all of the, the items. So th this is a great way to edit all of your site assistant files and import them right into FM Studio. Thanks so much for watching.